Hi, my name is Mickey, and I made this video because I realized that um, there's a lot of videos out there talking about Meniere's and other vestibular disorders, but nobody really shows the day-to-day -day struggles that we go through. Now you'll notice the trash can is about halfway up the driveway. I did half of it, and then I had to go back and rest a little while. Um, this is a video showing what, how difficult it is just bringing the trash into the house. Um, it's not as good as a, as a video as I wanted it to be. Um, really, you can't see me being off balance and struggling. Um, you can a little bit, but when I'm holding on to the trash can for a while, it's because I'm trying to regain my balance. Um, or I'm trying to make sure that my balance is okay before I go to grab for the top of that trash can. Um, there was also a period in time, too, where uh, you don't really notice it, but boy did I, um, towards the end of the video, where a, a bug flew by and I saw the shadow on the floor in front of me. And it threw me off. I had to stop and regain my balance. Um... Like I said, people just, you know, you can read, read on it, and you think, you know, man, it would suck to be dizzy and stuff, and, you know, but some of us have gone from having vertigo attacks um, that will last anywhere from a couple minutes to a couple days, weeks, sometimes months, but then once it's over and you sleep for about a week to catch up, um you feel normal again. Well, for the last three years, I've gotten to the point where I'm off balance all the time. I've had to, um, got my license taken away. I've had to resort to using a walker. And, um, I have to use a shower chair because rinsing my hair, putting my head up at all, makes it where I don't have good balance. Um, in the dark, it's horrible. Um, pretty much anywhere where there is stimulation, lights, sounds, movement, anything like that. Um, and to top it all off, the trying to focus and balance and concentrate on not falling over and being incredibly careful and your brain having to compensate for what your inner ears can no longer do you get exhausted doing these normal basic things. I mean, I'm bringing a trash can into the house. That is nothing for most people. Um, and it used to be nothing for me. I just walk out there, check in the mail. It's the same thing, um, of course not as strenuous. Um, but I have to use my walker when I walk my daughter out to the bus stop. And there's two parts in this video, I'm not sure if the first one has happened yet or not, where you can see that I stop and I hold on for dear life to that walker and I look down. And then there's a car or a truck that drives by and then you could see that I get really, really wobbly because even though I look down, sometimes my side view, I can see it. Or... Um, Maybe I see the shadow of it going by. Um, there's also a window directly in front of me in this video. Not directly, but, you know, in front of me in my house. And sometimes I'll accidentally look up too soon and I'll see the reflection on that window. See, my head's down there. Car went by. So, I mean... This is not something that is fun to live with and I've done my research I've read just about anything I can read on any kind of vestibular disorder inner ear disorder and I've gotten a lot of information and I've seen a lot of videos where people are sitting in front of their their webcam and kinda of talking about it and what they do to help with their vertigo attacks and what they do to help with the ringing in the ears and um, cutting down their salt intake and 
you know, all of that stuff. But I have yet to see anybody videotape, except for there was one, actually. There was one video where this girl was having an, an attack and her eyes were bouncing. It's called nystigmus, I believe. Um, and they videotaped her eyes jumping up and down. And that's what happens when you have your vertigo attacks, at least with me, it does violently and the whole entire room is spinning and you are just sicker than a dog and just oh if you're not religious then you become religious then because you're begging God to take it away to make you feel better but um anyway so I decided that I'm gonna start trying to do videos of normal day-to-day -day stuff that normally wouldn't seem like a big deal like bringing the trash in and I'm going to try to videotape them and uh, start sharing them on on YouTube. You know, let people know that, you know, it's not just words and it's not just the eyes bouncing. I mean, but when it progresses, it gets to where it affects your everyday life. Everything you do is that much harder to do. And I want to get the word out there. Um, nope, almost fell over there. That scared me. You have no idea how bad it is to get down and get back up when you have no balance. And, you know, besides the fact that I am a heavy set person. <laughs> now, the walker that I use is strictly for balance. Um, I am, I'm okay for strength, although I will say after I was done bringing the trash in and when I'm done doing a lot of my day-to-day -day stuff, because your brain is having to compensate for what your ears cannot do anymore, um... And your eyes tend to freak out a lot because they're having to help compensate for that as well. Um, but I was pretty, pretty exhausted by the time I got the trash up to the house. It is very strenuous and very, 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 very hard on us to have to, you know, all the stimulation, the lights, um, the sounds, a, a bug flying by, a bird flying by, um, just the leaves and the branches blowing in the wind will affect us and make us feel like we're going to fall over. Now that took forever, but of course it's also because I am very, very, very careful. I act like I'm, you know, 100 years old. I, I don't walk fast or anything like that. I'm very, very careful, walk slow, very carefully, make sure I have my balance. And some other people are not so lucky. They fall all the time, which I do fall, but um, not much because I'm very, very cautious. All right, well, just about to the end of the video, so I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll try to get some more day-to-day -day stuff and hopefully something that will actually show how difficult it is. It may not have looked that difficult to you guys, but inside I was struggling. I mean, having a hard time staying upright, a hard time not falling over, losing my balance. Um... When that bug flew by, the cars went by, it made me nauseous. Um, not to mention that it's just exhausting. Um, thank you again for watching and um, subscribe. And I'll try to get some more day-to-day -day videos for you guys to see how it is living with a vestibular disorder.